Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at all of the non-destructive cropping options in Lightroom Mobile. I'll tap on the crop icon and then in order to modify the crop just drag on any of the transform handles there. Now by default as I drag you'll notice that it is constrained to the original aspect ratio of the capture. If I want to drag out a crop that's unconstrained, I can tap the locked icon in order to unlock it and now I can drag freely in the image area. If I know that I want to crop to a specific aspect ratio, I can tap custom and then select the aspect ratio from the list. If I want to swap the orientation, I can use the icon in the upper left. I'll tap it again in order to swap it back. Then I'll reposition the crop and then reposition the image within the crop. If I ever want to undo the last repositioning, I can use the undo icon in the upper right. Once I tap undo, you'll notice there's a little triangle. If I tap and hold on the undo icon, now I have both the undo as well as the redo icons. If I wanted to rotate the image, I can tap and drag anywhere outside of the crop marquee. You can see that the angle is being updated underneath the photograph. If I took the original photograph at a tilt and wanted Lightroom to auto straighten it, I could tap the straighten icon. I can also rotate left, rotate right, or flip horizontally or vertical using the icons across the bottom. Now with this image, I want to crop it to a one by one aspect ratio, so I'll select that and then just reposition the image within that crop. I'll tap the check in order to apply, and don't worry, you can always return to the crop and refine it because everything is non-destructive. In addition, if you subscribe to Creative Cloud or the Creative Cloud for Photography plan, all of the changes that you make in Lightroom Mobile will be synchronized to Lightroom on the desktop. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.